Hi there, this is Eric from Vickert Management. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about Zoho Advanced Analytics, or as I like to call it simply, Zoho Analytics. I'm also going to do a overview of a dashboard that uh, we put together that really shows the power of Zoho Analytics. Uh, furthermore on that topic, the power of Zoho Analytics and where it differs from the other apps that live within the Zoho ecosystem and in their reporting features and analytics features is that those apps, if you're in Sales IQ or Zoho Books, Inventory, uh, they will have reporting, but it will very much feel and be the data that lives within its specific sphere. There are some exceptions, Zoho Books and Inventory, there's some overlap on the data there, so there is some similar reporting. But in most cases, things are very unique to those apps in terms of reports. Now, this is the power of Zoho Analytics, is the ability to use blended data sources and compare and bring in data from two separate spots and say, this is, as long as there's a unique identifier, such as an email, a uh, system assigned ID, uh, first name and last name, a street address, uh, and so on, that we could say, okay, this piece of data, this relation to this piece of data and connected, we're going to be able to do and create some beautiful graphics, graphs, and ports that will really give you business, some great business insights and allow you to make some informed decisions. So a great starting spot with that is on, your, on the screen now, you can see uh, a list of Zoho apps that can be brought in uh, to Zoho Analytics. All of the ones on your screen are going to have some sort of sync settings that's going to allow um, a, a recurring sync on a, a 3 to 6, 12, once a day kind of sync uh, with the plans in the future to be one hour and they, they're testing live, but the feasibility of that is, is yet to be determined. Um, so anything on your screen here we can bring in, um, but it's not just limited to Zoho apps. Um, all of these apps on your screen here will also have some sort of syncing capability uh, that we can, can bring in and use as a blended data source. So it can be anything from a competitor uh, in the CRM spot, uh, CRM world like HubSpot or Salesforce to being ads like Facebook ads and pages and campaigns and LinkedIn pages and MailChimp to e-commerce sites such as WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Shopify. Um, and then simply if you have cloud storages or cloud databases, local drives, or even just Excel files that you want brought in, uh, all of these can be used as data sources. Now that we know where we can draw and pull data from, let's talk about what we can do with it. Here we put together a sample executive dashboard that draws data from CRM, books, campaigns, e-commerce, desk, and inventory that has a integration with a shipment carrier. And I'll dive into that when we get to it. Um, on this first line here, you're able to see things like revenue, expense, ROI, uh, these first two are drawn in from books, and this ROI is actually drawn in from a, a combination of um, a dollar amount in campaigns and understanding how much money that we spent towards campaigns and taking in how many customers that we got and which customers we got from that and how much money they spent. Um, this ROI percentage is, of course, relational to that. We can see active customers drawn from our CRM. Uh, average order value drawn from books, average cart conversion rate drawn from commerce, purchase frequency drawn from books and CRM, and customer lifetime value similarly books and CRM. Here we have a sales trend uh, almost exclusively drawn from books, uh, but here is also some data modeling and it really shows the, the ability of data modeling and forecasting in Zoho CRM. There's actually a few different models that we can use, so if you had one in mind that you love to use, but we can go that way. Um, here's sales by region, and this is using a combination of the CRM and books in terms of billing addresses or just customer addresses and dollar amounts associated to invoices, and we're able to see 
where people are ordering um, our products and where we're shipping to. Here's vis visitors to shipment delivered funnel. This one's kind of an interesting one. This is, we can see how many visitors we had on our page, um, how many customers that turned out to be, uh, how many invoices we sent out, and then how many shipments we delivered based on that. This one's another fun one. This is a word chart. It's essentially looking at Zoho inventory and picking out our top sellers. Our top sellers are gonna have the biggest font and it's gonna be in red. Uh, and our smallest sellers, if you will, will be down here in green and a smaller font. You can see our ROI percentage on the monthly trend based on those campaigns that I alluded to earlier. And we can see that in the month of May, we had we must have had a great campaign that, that turned out to, to give us many lead conversions. Here's a revenue versus expense trend, uh, data from books, average cart conversion rate trend. This is from e-commerce. Further down, we're able to see demand versus stock by warehouse location. This is both inventory and books. Um, and same with uh, with the shipping hours by location. This is inventory, and this is uh, what I mentioned earlier with the integration. So this is, we're able to see how many hours it took our shipment once it left the warehouse to landing. And this will give us an idea and help us with uh, the warehouse locations understanding that uh, maybe some of our products above 100 hours to get to someone, maybe we want to touch on that, maybe we don't. Uh, further down, this is uh, our desk data here. We're able to see how many tickets we got here in green and our customer satisfaction rate based on those tickets here in the line chart. Uh, customers by location, this is similar data that we used earlier. And then the last thing on this is a finance overview that gives you your revenue, expense, profits, ROI, and efficiency. Uh, I hope this demo was exciting and uh, was informative. And thank you for your time. Take care.